Today we're taking a look at Crossman's Model 2300T CO2 powered pellet pistol. This pistol comes in .177 caliber. It is a single shot bolt action pistol. It does come with Crossman's steel breech which allows the included uh, adjustable sight to be mounted as well as providing a 3 8 inch uh, dovetail that you can use for a red dot scope or uh, alternate sight. Now this particular breech is available from the custom shop as their short breech. Um, to my knowledge the 2300T is the only production pistol that ships with this breech. Um, what it really does is take a little bit of weight off the front of the gun because as you can see we've gone with the or they have gone with the 10.1 inch target barrel and it just kind of makes the pistol sit a little nicer in your hand other things you pick up in this model and you receive these in any of the custom shop co2 pistols as well as the 2300s silhouette pistol and that is a grip frame that includes over travel adjustment for the trigger so that we can um, go ahead and get a clean stop at the end of our trigger pull and additionally when we take this grip panel off we have an adjustment for the spring tension um, for what we would call the trigger spring really it's a sear spring but as we reduce tension on it the effect is to lighten our trigger pull and we'll go ahead and take this off and show that to you in a moment with a straight bladed screwdriver you can go ahead and remove the grip screw and then go ahead and take off the grip panel. This will expose the trigger weight adjustment mechanism and what we have here is a spring sitting on a caster. A portion of this uh, dial is threaded so when I turn it this direction I am raising this up putting additional tension on the spring and in effect increasing the pull weight on the trigger. When I spin it back the other way I am relaxing tension on the spring and reducing the overall trigger weight. So once you're familiar with the pistol this is something you may want to go in and tune uh, to suit your particular taste or needs but um, always be aware that it can be adjusted to a very light pull so please everybody be careful. Next, we're going to go outside and take a look at performance. Now, Crossman rates this pistol at giving us 520 feet per second and over 40 shots per 12 gram CO2 capsule. So we'll go ahead and put that to the test. Um, this pistol is using their 10.1 inch target barrel, which has 10 lands and 10 grooves. And it is manufactured by Crossman. The 2300S uses a 12 land, 12 groove choked barrel that is manufactured for Crossman by Lothar Walther. Um, so we've got the German barrel and the other. This is the American made barrel. And we're going to go ahead and see what she can do for us accuracy wise. Now when we talk about velocity, these are designed as target pistols where we're looking for consistent velocity but not extreme velocity. So another important thing in addition to consistency is shot count and it's interesting what Crossman's done here to affect that. Crossman uses the same valve system in many of their CO2 products. All of the 2240, 2260, 2300 series use a CO2 valve that looks like this. This is one actually and where the 2300 and 23 or the 2300T and S are different is Crossman has added an additional part that reduces the overall volume of this valve. So right now this is a standard valve standard volume. If you take apart a 22 40 or one of the other pistols, this is what you'll see. However, in one of the target pistols, you'll have this piece that's been added. They go ahead, slip it down inside there, 
And what that does is it reduces the volume, reduces the gas capacity of the pistol such that it doesn't fill with as much and each time it fires it doesn't release as much CO2. The effect is a slight reduction in velocity but an increased number of shots. So um, that's one of the differences between those two pistols and a standard Crossman CO2 pistol is the addition of that spacer.